Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 15th of February 1949, the first professional archaeological excavation began in the Qumran Caves, the location of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Qumran Caves are a series of natural and man-made caves in the limestone cliffs above the ancient settlement of Qumran in the modern West Bank. Although a series of excavations of the area were conducted in the 19th century, these all focused on the settlement itself and its large cemetery of over 1,000 graves. It wasn't until late 1946, or possibly early 1947, that Bedouin shepherd Muhammad Ad-Dib happened upon the first of 11 caves that contained what we now know as the Dead Sea Scrolls. While searching for a lost animal, he ventured into one of the caves, where he found a number of clay jars containing seven ancient documents. Over the next few months, the existence of the scrolls was shared with local parties and finally became public knowledge after Mar Samuel of the Monastery of St Mark sought a professional appraisal. Academics, excited by the scriptural similarities to the Nash Papyrus, the oldest known biblical manuscript of the time, soon set about trying to locate the original cave, but found it difficult to gain access to the area due to regional unrest in the aftermath of the establishment of the State of Israel. The Arab Legion was eventually given permission to search the area, and on the 29th of January 1949, Cave 1 was located. Less than three weeks later, on the 15th of February, Gerald Lancaster Harding and Roland de Vaux began the first official archaeological excavation. In the cave, they found fragments of other scrolls alongside other artefacts including cloth and pottery. By 1956, the archaeologists and local Bedouin had found over 200 more caves, 11 of which contain scroll fragments that date back as far as the 3rd century BC. 